Hey everyone, it's back to school, I'm back from holiday, and it seems that even the school supply shopping couldn't prevent Wilco from going bust. They had a balance sheet weaker than a Lib Dem handshake. Anyway, what else happened when I was away? Well, the Edinburgh Festival had some controversy this year, but it did also have some great jokes, don't forget, like the one where Nicola Sturgeon talked about her new book and how her choosing to resign it got nothing to do with her being arrested. Still cracks me up. Vladimir Putin sacked one of his senior army officials, and then a few days later, Yevgeny Prigozhin died in a, quote, tragic air accident. Or you could also say that Vladimir fired one and flambéed the other. There was also the conclusion of Lucy Letby's ghastly court case, and my conclusion was that the woman should have been strangled at birth. A friend told me a joke where Lucy gets cast into a desolate pit filled with crying, screaming people and a demon tells her, welcome to hell. And Lucy replies, thank goodness, I thought I'd been reinstated in an NHS hospital. There was also the Women's World Cup, where the girls failed to win, proving conclusively that they're just as bad as the men's team. Personally, I didn't actually realise the game was happening, in part because I'm Scottish, but also because I don't watch the BBC. And Mohammed Al-Fayed died almost 26 years to the day after Princess Diana. Diana's name was famously an acronym for died in a nasty accident. She'll be forever in our hearts, windscreens and French roads. And Michael Parkinson also died, although at least his family can now claim that over 50's life cover he spent the last couple of decades banging on about. I'd quite like to imagine the scene where he goes through the pearly gates, meets up with Rod Hull and swings a punch at him now that it's just the two of them. And finally a child at my kid's school self-identifies as a donkey. Their initials are he-haw. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.